welcome back to my channel. T today is March 8th, uh, Friday, and it is currently 2.02, and we're here. I got out of work. I got out of work. Um, I got out of work pretty late. I came home, like, basically around 1. Um, so this is Bebe. I'm going to show you an OOTD because our OOTDs are popping right now. Anyways, we're going to go to Sam's to get some diapers. We're going to go get the gas. And then we're going to go to Cavender's to look for something for Bebe's one-year party. I'll see you out when we get over there at Sam's. Goodbye. Bebe is getting cranky. He's like, mommy, no. This is his little outfit. So he has some black shoes, his blue socks, ski shorts, and then his like army shirt. And it's crazy here. And he's jumping. Who does he want? You don't want the ice cream? No. I got some cute Activate. earrings. Look at that, they're so cute for free. Did you pick them out? Okay, this is my makeup bag. This is, I got this from TJ and it's like a Disney like thing makeup bag. This is Minnie Mouse and this is Mickey Mouse. And I actually only got this because my baby was really into Mickey Mouse and he's still into Mickey Mouse. But yeah, and it's pink. So duh. I actually literally wrote some notes just so I can like focus because I feel like I feel like I talk too much and it's like you're not understanding what I'm saying and it's just me talking, 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 talking. Let's start with my eyebrows. I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera. Okay, so for my primer, I'll be using this e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. My baby is asleep in the other room, so if I'm talking too like low, it's because I'm trying to not wait come up now on to foundation this is the foundation i'll be using this is the wet and wild foundation in matte 368c golden beige for the first topic that i'll be talking about is obviously my baby um let's talk about my baby real quick my baby is about to be 10 months in on the 14th which by by now like th when this video gets posted it would already be the 14th or the 14th will already pass so he will be 10 months on the 14th it's literally two more months and he's gonna be one year and i don't know like i feel so like <gasps> this foundation looks very dark on me i don't know why i feel relieved i feel sad that he's gonna turn a year i feel happy i feel i don't know i feel so many emotions I feel relieved because you know i feel like in my opinion i think the like when your baby is like still under a year it's very hard or at least for me maybe it's because like i'm starting to be a little bit more dependent or i mean independent like with my baby or whatever it gets easier along the way like for example now he is sitting up by himself and he tries to stand up and he just like you know he just wants to walk now he does not crawl or he doesn't walk yet but he like stands up and he just like sits stands there like for a little bit um he loves walking though like if you hold him he starts walking a little side topic i am gonna make a birthday party for my baby obviously for his one year birthday party it's gonna be like western theme and i'm just so excited for it but at the same time so nervous because i want everything to be perfect i want everything to be like oh wow that's so cute let me take a picture or like you know just things like that but i feel like i'm stressing way too much to the point that it's like it's overwhelming everybody else and it's like girl like chill it's just a birthday party i think that's all about my baby actually he's gonna have a doctor's appointment march 18th so i will be filming that day and there will be a vlog coming out for that day i know i don't like this makeup why does it make me look like very dark or is it just me now onto my contour i'll be using the Too faced chocolate soleil i don't know how to say it by the way in chocolate on to the next topic and 
next topic will be about school and and stuff like that like if i'm going back to school or if i'm planning to go to school um i graduated 2020 so i had like what 20 it's 2024 four years i actually right after i went i got out of high school i did go to college community college but i didn't stay for that long i stayed for like i think a year and a half and then i stopped and i started working that was like not personal reference that was just because i couldn't pay for my classes no more i would like to go back to school i'm not sure really what i want to do but i know for a fact that i want to go into either beauty school or i want to go to nursing those are like my top two like i guess interests like i either want to do lashes or facials or i want to be a OBGYN. Uh, for the time frames, I want to wait at least a year, an extra year, just so we can get a house. My baby could be a little bit older, and so I can have a little bit more money in my bank account or in my savings. I'll be using my NARS Golden Eye Light Reflecting Eye Brainer. Let me get to my book. I'm talking about work okay so work do i work do i not work i do work i work at a donut shop and um this is something i don't really like to talk about i work at a donut shop that's not too far away from my house i work from either 6 to 12 to 7 to 12 depending on like my schedule and i just come home and take care of my baby after 12 which to be honest this is the best schedule i can have since you know having a baby because before like before donut shop i had mcdonald's and mcdonald's was really like tiring especially because i worked while i was pregnant and it was just so exhausting like i would literally like be so exhausted i would only have two days off and i would work deep weekends and it was just like ugh. very i'm not a very problematic person but you know if someone's gonna talk about me I gotta you know say it i gotta say what i think it's just very different now since i guess i like got there or whatever before i was there there was probably there was probably problems but there wasn't as much problems as there is now i think that's all i'm gonna say about work because i still work there so i'm not gonna talk about it when i still work there for the next product i'll be using it will be the aoa studio perfect setting powder I don't know if this is if this comes in a shade but i'm pretty sure it's like white translucent because it's white i didn't like makeup until 2019 to be honest or 2020 i think 2019 i didn't even do that right that was just because i danced for this for this dance company i mean for this like whatever it's called a drill team in school and i started like liking to do my makeup and i did it every day afterwards and then i started getting into more heavy makeup right now this is not even heavy makeup for me i feel like this is just super light um, when i do my eyeshadow and everything i haven't done my eyeshadow in like a long time I, i've only done it whenever i was pregnant but i just miss doing everything i miss doing my makeup i miss doing my eyeshadow i miss doing like, lashes i miss having lashes on I just miss having to do like like a little time for myself just to talk or just to put music on and just put my makeup on and whatnot. I love doing makeup. If I could dedicate more time on my makeup, I would, but it's just kind of hard having a baby and just everything in general. I do try to do my makeup for parties, for going out, for just a date night or going out with my friends, but if i'm home alone and i really have nothing to do i usually just prioritize cooking or cleaning instead of like having myself time and i feel like that's where my downfall is next topic will be my birthday i'll be turning 22 on april 8th and it's just crazy to think that like i missed the drinking stage i don't drink but i really want to go to bars and i want to go to clubs 
not saying that just because I have a kid means that I can't do that but I feel kind of guilty and I feel like other moms relate to that as well but I would be doing that because just because I'm a mom doesn't mean I can't do anything like I've been contemplating whether to buy a Stanley or not but I don't know because I think I need blush the next topic do I want more babies? Uh, I feel like yes. Obviously, I don't want to just have one baby. Total, I don't know how many I want. And I haven't really like... I haven't really been like... How do I say it? Been wanting to have a baby right now. I feel like right now I'm perfect with just me and my baby. I want to learn with him. I want to wait until he's like two or three years old. And then probably have a baby. I'm not sure. Or maybe four even. Depending on where we are in life. This is the blush that I have. This is the e.l.f. Pooty blush. This, when I got this, I was like. Oh, Lord Jesus. This is such a cute blush. Moving out. Uh right now i really am not like in a big rush to move out probably because we have everything we need in my mom's house we have like space we have just the essentials that you really need i'm not really a big fan of moving out when i first moved out with my boyfriend i was like crying every single day and it just sucked because your parents aren't there and it's just like you seem you feel lonely even though you're not really lonely and i know for a fact that like there's some days that i'm just like no i just want to move out like i literally just want to leave and there's other days i'm just kind of like no like i'm fine i can deal with it you know but for right now moving out is probably not until like four to five years to be honest to the topic that i feel like i want to talk about but i don't want to talk about but it's just like complicated for me but it is getting married and that's one of the biggest things that everybody has been talking to me about like my mom my sister my family my friends my everybody my co-workers not just playing don't talk to me like that but will i be getting married yes i will be getting married i'm not sure when but i want to get married sometimes it's everything's just it really just depends on timing everything's about timing like if you're at a certain time that you feel like it's time then you know you know it's time but if you feel like you can wait then there's times that you can wait my elf highlighter in moonlight pearls i think this was like the popular one that was popular around like 2018 2017 that airbnb and their mama was getting and i got it and i still have some this is one thing i hate about like buying makeup because like it lasts for a long time and I'm just like, bitch, I want you to hurry up. Like, I want you, I want to use something else. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How I'm doing, like, YouTube-wise. YouTube-wise, I want to get more into doing videos every single day or every single week, at least. As y'all know, I've been slacking. But it's just super hard because sometimes I don't have enough. Okay, I film on my phone and i don't have enough storage for like most things because obviously i'm taking pictures of my baby and then i'm making videos and it's like too much storage so then it's just too much so then it's just too much and it's just like gets overwhelming and then some days i'm just like overstimulated because it's just too much that i do so i just like end up not doing anything but hopefully i'll be trying my best like for example for right now i literally haven't posted on tiktok for like a week already i actually have like a list of like weekly videos where is that those are here i actually have a list of like weekly videos that i need to do or i'm posting i'm trying to stay more consistent but it's just harder whenever you really don't have time to edit or you don't have space to edit or you don't have space to film and you're just like ugh, like you have a baby and it's just everything like everything's just everything okay guys so i didn't finish my little my little chit chat video but that's all i wanted to say the only thing i wanted to add on from youtube is that it's kind of hard to post videos when you really don't have that much views like i don't know that's just my opinion like i hate posting videos and like the only people that be like oh babe i saw it is like 
I mean, Obi was like, oh, I saw it. It's like my mom or my family. But I'm trying little by little to get like comfortable and post more and just like post whatever I want. This person right here what? <laughs> is the one that encourages me. And also he thinks that um, I got famous because of him on TikTok. This is little Pepe. He's drinking his bottle right now. He still drinks um, formula. I give him around four cups, not four cups, but you know, like four bottles um, a day. And then I feed him twice, like Gerber twice a day. And then I give him like at least two snacks. Okay, so I didn't really film, but this is all we've been doing, literally just relaxing, chilling. Either he was on the floor or he was just walking. This is how my baby... <laughs> I don't know why he stands like that. Currently 8.36, my boyfriend's already trying to sleep. Um, Because he works tomorrow. I think, I think I'm going to let him take the car tomorrow. So I can take it on Thursday. Um... Boy, what are you doing? Boy, what are you doing? What is this? Stank your stank line. Move your stank line. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my goodness, y'all. He's a crazy little baby. I'm gonna go get him a bottle. He ate around six, and his last bottle is usually around nine, and then he falls asleep, and then he wakes up back at nine in the morning. I don't know why he's doing that. Y'all see that? Really like nine something excuse the mess please like a mom is going through it today thank y'all for watching i hope y'all enjoyed and this is basically the end to my video i am cooking right now i'm cooking lunch i do lunch at night and then i go to sleep however time i want to go to sleep because i literally hate waking up in the morning uh, my baby's right here because i can't put him anywhere else and I'm making some enchiladas.